morning, and welcome to another beautiful Texas sunrise. If you're like me, a Christian, then you believe that you, me, the camera, the sun, all of it was created by our God. But have you ever stopped to consider the nature of this God? How do we really know that God is just, merciful, kind? Sir Thomas Brown, a 17th century really smart guy who wrote most of it down so we get to benefit from it, said that God wrote two books, one in nature and one in scripture. Stay tuned, hit that like button, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. You're not going to want to miss a moment as we dive into both on another beautiful Texas day. <laughs> Do you know what this sunrise means? <laughs> A cat. My name is Jan. I'm a military veteran who is privileged to work around the world with cameras in my hands, just like the ones that you see here. Today, I'm a graduate student at Houston Baptist University in the School of Christian Thought. I specialize in throwing myself into the ground in uncomfortable positions to capture moments like this one, when a miniature cow maybe gets up from rest. So I can think of no better way to answer the question, how do we know the nature of God, than to heed Sir Thomas Brown's insights and dive into both scripture and God's creation, seeing what they have to say to us for themselves in our quest for better understanding of our God. You'll see me fade to the bottom corner of your screen for the remainder of this discussion. At the end, you'll see a bibliography pop up with all of the resources that I've mentioned. There are also links to them in the show notes. Please check them out. I guarantee you that classical Christianity in particular by Odin is changing my life. With that, and if Sir Jeffrey agrees, let's get into it. Let's go back to Sir Thomas Brown. His full statement says that the first of the two books written by God, Nature, is written with trees and rocks and comets and nebula. The second book, Scripture, is the explicit word of God for the people of God. Classical scholars and philosophers have over many centuries come to agreement that God is infinite. God is independent of time, he's independent of anything. He is self-sustained, he is self-sufficient, and though he by no means needs the world, God would still be God without the world, although the world would not exist without God. He takes great joy and delight in his creation. God finds joy in being, and he exists in the most fully imaginable sense. God defies human ability to describe, though we try, most often in analogy. I like Phil Talon's summary in the absolute basics of Christian faith. There he says that God can do anything, that God knows everything, and that God will always do what is right. Now this matters because when we look at the whole of God's attributes, which is the only way to look at the attributes of God in the context of the whole, it means that we can trust God all the time, every time, no exceptions. We can fully trust God. Second Peter assures us that humans have personal knowledge of God, not just theoretical knowledge. And this is why these cameras thrill me so much. Through these lenses, I see his world. And through his world, sometimes, some days, some places, some ways, he allows me glimpses of him. Much of what I see is beautiful, and I think that that matters too. In a panel discussion uh, about the impact of C.S. Lewis's life on the greater Christian community and Christian scholarship, philosopher Peter Williams said that the church is very big on talking about ethics, but has largely dropped the ball on beauty. He continues on to say that beauty is that which is truly worthy of admiration and incorporates truth and goodness. To that end, I would like to add one final attribute to this discussion of ways that we know the nature of God. God is beautiful. And through the beauty of his creation, he reveals his mercy, love, and grace, both for creation and for us in it. Let everything that hath a breath praise the Lord.
special thanks to Professor Randy Hatchett at Houston Baptist University for guiding my learning. If you want to get on board the train, and you definitely do, be sure to check out the resources in the show notes and the complete bibliography at the end of this discussion. Thank you so much for allowing me to be here with you. Until the next one, I hope you have a very happy day.